Hey guys, and welcome back to my channel. Today I have the Sailor Moon Crystal Part 2 DVD. As you can tell, I've already unwrapped mine, <laughs> but I did that because I had like some kind of weird defect on my cover, and I wanted to be sure that it wasn't permanent. I don't know if you guys follow me on Facebook or Twitter or not, but I posted about how mine had these weird black, almost, well, I guess they were kind of gray marks over top the cover for mine, and it was like bugging me so bad I wanted to make sure it wasn't permanent. But uh, if you're interested in knowing what those lines look like, message me on Facebook or Twitter. I'll send you the picture, but yeah, that was bugging me, so I took it out of the wrapping so I can make sure. This is also the sticker that was on the wrapping, and I took it off and put it on the box like I usually do. But yeah, this is it, and I was very excited to finally get mine. Uh, the only problem was when I ordered it from Right Stuff, they were they had two different listings. They had one with the little sun catcher and then one without, and I didn't pay attention, so I just pre-ordered it, and then I got it in the mail, and I was like, where's my sun catcher? <laughs> And that's when I realized I bought the one without the sun catcher. So I complained to write stuff. I did end up having to pay for shipping to send it back, though, to get the one that I meant to get. So that was a bit of a downer, and I told them how I was really frustrated and that they should be listing two different ones. Because who's not going to want the sun catcher? If it sells out, just relist this one or something. So or relist the one without the sun catcher. So I don't know why they did that, and I hope that we don't have any more problems in the future with that. But here it is, and the cover's really nice. It does have the cosmic heart on there, and I think a lot of people really were uh, confused with that because it is the second arc, and it should have the crystal star on there, and it does not. But that's because they used the final image for the um, final box that they came out in Japan. So I do like that it has the foil and everything, and they do try to stay true to the Japanese with these. They don't come up with anything crazy like, <laughs> we'll get to this soon. <laughs> yeah, But yeah, they don't try to come up with anything crazy. They just try to stay true to the Japanese on these. So The outside uh, little thing has the cosmic heart on there. I always take these off though. And then the back has this, and it says all the features on there. It includes a 96 page booklet and six art cards. And you get four disc Blu ray and DVD combo. The episodes, it's in 1080p, um, Japanese and English, English subtitles. In an interview with Momura Clover Z clean opening ending songs and art gallery so that's what the bonus features on on there but I'll show you that when we go to check on the discs themselves and the back has this nice flower arrangement which is really pretty and then you have that same design at the top of the basic box the bottom just has Kadansha Toei animation on the bottom yeah so here is the pre-order bonus this time that you get from Right Stuff. It's a little plain compared to the one we got last time. I don't really like it as much. There is tons of scratches already on this thing. So yeah, I mean, it's up to you if you want to spend a little bit extra for this. <laughs> I don't think it's really fantastic by any means. And you do have this little suction cup thing with a hook and it just kind of boop. And that's pretty much it. Um, I'll show you a little closer up what it looks like. So here it is. It's just basically pink and yellow with the crystal star on there. Nothing too spectacular or fancy. There's copyright at the bottom. So then you know it's official. <laughs> but, I mean, it is what it is. If you want this, then that's up to you. <laughs> I'm sure they got plenty left, I imagine. All right, so here it is up close so you guys can see it really well, all the detail in the box. It is really, really nice. I do like it a lot. It's the flowers. We'll open it up here and look at everything that's in here. So here, of course, is the main box, and this is definitely a really popular image, I'd say, for the release of Sailor Moon Crystal, especially 
season too. It's really, really pretty. And then here, of course, is the back with all the features. If you want to pause that and read it, you can. But we'll go ahead and open it up and take a look at the discs inside. And I think this stays pretty true to the Japanese as well. The way they have the disc designed. So that's episodes 15 through 20. This is the DVD. And then this is the second DVD with episodes 21 through 26 with the extras on here. And then these are the Blu-ray. And that's the second one. And in the back here you can see a nice silhouette of Sailor Moon falling in the sky with a moon design with a cityscape. So yeah, it's very, very pretty. They do a really good job with the overall design of these. I think they look pretty fantastic, if you ask me. And very much worth the wait. So that is that. And now we have the little booklet that always comes with these. And it's kind of the highlight of getting the Blu-ray set. And I'll just skim through it a little bit here. I go from the back. <laughs> There's a little cosmic heart there. And this is the credits. That's what this is. And we have the songs. Some of the lyrics, both in Japanese and English. Some storyboards. More art. Lots of storyboards. It's really cool. Some different scenes from the background. So a lot of these showed up in the Japanese releases of, the, of this uh, series as well. So we do get a little bit of a taste. We don't get everything, obviously, but we do get a little bit of what was shown in them. So we're not completely left in the dust. Ah, uh, there's that image that's on that shirt. <laughs> it is in the book. See, I opened this, but I made sure not to really look at anything. I wanted it to be kind of special for this video. I just wanted to be sure of the cover of my box. But there's an interview from the voice of Artemis. I haven't met any of the cat voices yet. Just the uh, guardians so far. There's Veronica Taylor. This is Sailor Pluto. There's that image. <laughs> I uh, just saw this image recently, and you'll see it in my uh, Sailor Moon R review. I'll show you where I saw that image at recently, but there it is again. There's some wands and compacts, which is really cool. Luna. <laughs> There's the like a million ways of how the gun looks. <laughs> That's funny. Uh, More enemies. There's Sandy Fox. I did get to uh, meet her. She's really, really sweet. And here's all the different acts, of course. A little summary of each one. There's some really nice close-up art. And that's it. So yeah, really awesome book. I definitely love the books on this. It's definitely a nice collector's piece. And then we have the art cards. And I still have these wrapped, so... I, don't know, I might have to get scissors to open these. Alrighty, so these are all the official cover art for all the ones that came out in Japan. And then on the back has the outside art for each one as well. So we will see which one of these has the crystal star on them. So this is the Chibi Moon one. And this one has, yeah, nice silhouette of her with her, with her time key. And then this one's the group one. It's number nine. This is the one that's got the crystal star on there, as you can see. It would have had Luna on it if they would have kept true and used this one as the cover. So that's probably another reason why they chose the cover that they did with the cosmic heart. It's a little off because she has this one throughout the entire arc, but I understand why they come up with that one. It's the last one in the set. That one's really nice. 
art piece, so Neo Queen Serenity, King and Nimeon. Black Lady. And then lastly, this is the one that's on the cover. So yeah, these are really, 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 really nice. I always love getting these. I would love to get these framed and hang them up. Very, very pretty art cards. So we'll pop this in and we'll take a look at the menus like I usually do. So then you guys can get a feel for what they look like. So this is this number one for the Blu-ray. It's very, very gorgeous as you can tell. And the music is quite loud, even though I don't even have the volume turned up very, very loud. But you have the play episodes set up an art gallery. So the episodes pop up like that. And then you have your setup. So it's English and Japanese, obviously. And then you have your art gallery. And this is how the art gallery looks. Pretty simple. Just various uh, official images of them. It looks pretty nice. Yeah, you could see a very, very tiny Luna right above the return down there. And then the background looks really nice in this as well. We'll go back to the main menu. And you can see your little cursor is the cutie moon rod down there. Very, very pretty. So I'll go ahead and pop in the Blu-ray number two. And here's this number two for the Blu-ray. I took the liberty of turning the volume down a little bit on this one since the music is quite loud. But the menus on these are just gorgeous. I do love them. So you do have the episodes, play in the episodes, same cursor at the bottom pop up just like that and then set up is the same way and this one has extras so let's see we have interview with the band Murmur Clover Z art gallery clean opening and ending and then more trailers from Biz. so that is basically the menu and they look absolutely amazing <laughs> I have a new TV here, so it's different from the one that I usually use. This is my more updated, so it looks even better on here <laughs> than it usually does when I do these. So, pretty impressed with how this looks. So, but we'll pop in the DVDs next and take a look at them. So here is the first DVD. It showcases Chibiusa. So. It's really pretty. I do love that they chose this image. I do really like it. You got the play and episodes and set up in this one. So here's the episode guide. So there's all of them. The Luna P there in the background. And then you have set up. And there's all your setups for your language and subtitles and all that. Pretty simple, but it looks really nice. So we'll go ahead and pop in the last one and take a look at it. Alright, so here's your last DVD menu. This one has King Endymion and Queen Serenity on it, or Neo Queen Serenity. You have your episodes. It's got uh, Crystal Tokyo in the background. You have, for your setup, the same as last time in the last one and 
Then you have your extras. And the extras are clean openings and endings. So this is kind of a big deal, I think. <laughs> because I think all the uh, classic anime had was just more trailers, as if I can remember correctly, for the DVDs. So they actually give you something as an actual extra to the series on here. So that's different. But yep, yeah, that is the DVD and Blu-ray menus. So my overall thoughts on Sailor Moon Crystal Part 2, I always love the presentation of the boxes of these. I love the additional art cards that they give you. These are always a nice touch. And these would be awesome to frame for sure. I love the booklet. The booklet's always awesome as well. And they give you tons of art that they don't have to give you. So if you don't get the Blu-ray release, I know not everybody has a Blu-ray player or can afford the Blu-ray release, but I always recommend getting it if you can, if you can afford it. You do get the DVD and you might get a Blu-ray player one of these days. I really think Blu-ray is here to stay, so I'm pretty sure one of these days you might actually get a Blu-ray player. I buy 3D movies, and I don't own a 3D player or a 3D TV. And now I'm hearing that 3D is going on the wayside, and I have all these 3D movies, and I'm like, well, maybe one of these days still, maybe one of these days I will get a 3D player and 3D TV. That's just the way I feel about things. So I'm always trying to prepare myself for one of these days I might have this thing. So that is my recommendation, but I know they are kind of costly, so. But I think they did a very pretty uh, job with this. I'm still kind of concerned with the defect I had on mine. I didn't really explain to you after I opened this and looked at it. The lines came off with one of those dry erasers. I was able to get it off, but I don't know why they existed on the cover. <laughs> I had a few people say that they got that too, and then other people saying they didn't. So I don't know how many people got those lines, but if you got them, they do come off. Just be aware. Use a little bit of water, just a little bit, and rub them off with a maybe a slightly damp cloth or a dry eraser if you have one. So yeah, <laughs> my only complaint. But that's my review of Sailor Moon Crystal 2, and I can't wait to watch it. So. But thank you guys, as always, for checking out my video today. Please like, comment, subscribe, stick around for more Sailor Moon stuff. I will get it up in the future. So I will see you guys next time. All right, bye.